Army of Bell competitor, Mr. Tariko Ross St. James. And I do thank you. Your question reads, have high-profile TV shows like RuPaul's Drag Race helped or hindered the art of female impersonation? Why or why not? Thank you, Naisha. In response to the question, I feel that it has helped us in the art form of female impersonating. RuPaul Drag Race, well, RuPaul itself, himself, herself, has been a, a model, a role model in my life in the art form of female impersonating. I see through her that not only that she captivates the gay community, she also captivates the heterosexuals as well. So I feel in my heart that by her success, I too can be successful as well. Not only in the gay community, but also other platforms in life. Any question and answer, ladies and gentlemen, I want to turn it over to the one and the only Miss Your question is, if you are chosen the winner of MBU this evening, what advice would you give an aspiring young entertainer who wishes to follow in your footsteps and why? Thank you, Naisha. The advice that I would give a young entertainer that wish to follow in my advice is to take the path that I've, I've led. Get your education, be independent, self-sufficient, and don't let nobody stop you from coming after your dream. That's why I'm here. I want that young entertainer, no matter what they inspire to be, whether you be a dancer, whether you be a, a vocal performer, I want them to know that keep filing for your dream because that's gonna get you to where you gotta go. Don't get discouraged by what you see, but do what you know and follow your heart. That's why I definitely know within myself I wouldn't know, excuse me. My road has been hard. And the young entertainers that are coming up today, they don't understand what it has been 17 years ago for me to get here. So the only advice that I definitely could give them more than anything is follow your heart and follow your dream. MBU is my dream. I'm following my heart. Thank you. Your question is, what is the most significant problem facing the gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender community today, and what can be done to solve this problem? In response to the question, what could be done to solve this problem? It's simple. Love yourself. A lot of times, as people in the gay community, we have a tendency to live for others and not live for ourselves. Once you respect who you are, you will respect the industry and you would also respect yourself as a homosexual. When it comes to the gay community, we have to understand that there is a community out there that is against us. It's very important that we stay true to one another and we keep the unity like we have here tonight. I get bothered sometimes when I'm walking into a club or I see something and we're arguing and fighting against one another. It's important that we stick together because united we stand, divided we fall. <laughs> If we stay strong with each other, we can fight those people that they consider to be the heterosexual community because we are coming full circle. As you all know, don't ask, don't tell, pass. But what we need to do is stay true to who we are. And that's what's important. I feel if you stay true to yourself, stay true to the people, and respect your peers, you definitely can make a change. And I thank you. And in response, I'm your contestant, number eight, Your question is, there are many pageantry systems out there today. What, in your opinion, makes MBU stand out from the others? Thank you, Naisha. First, I would have to say, the dedication that people put into, we as contestants put into the competition. The preparation 
that we put into the competition. And most importantly, what I believe, in my opinion, is the way that each and every one come out and you guys support all of us. I believe that when you patrons come into the system, come into the building, you may have your favorites, but if a person is doing their very best, you give them what they need in order for them to compete. So I would have to say dedication, preparation, and the support of everyone. Thank you. Your question is, in your opinion, which category in tonight's competition were you most prepared for and which were you least prepared for and why? Biggest though I prepared for this contest over 10 years ago, I adapted this pageant not just as a pageant, but it's a lifestyle for me. It's something that I do on and off stage. The individual that you see before you is the individual that you'll get throughout the year. Which category was the most complicated for me in preparing for this contest and why? I would have to say I made it difficult for myself mentally in preparing for all categories because I'm a transparent individual. And I breathe and I feel for this art form, not less this art form for this system. And it matters to me much what you, the audience, perceive and how you respect and what you desire from me. Because this is something that I want. And I know, first of all, this is a pageant that's about entertainment. And secondly, it's a pageant that's built on a legacy of women and individuals that have come before me and set a standard. So in preparing for the contest, the one that I was most nervous about was actually getting to this point yes. because it's something I've dreamed about. Yes. And my biggest fear, I feel as though I'm conquering now because I'm standing before you, I'm dictating how I feel genuinely because it's my